Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Super Tech So. In my channel, you will be learning some new skills from Malay language and English language. Without wasting much time, let's go! Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Saw again. Today, Mr. Saw is going to guide you to write an essay about a mischievous boy who ignore his parents' advice. So, do you listen to your parents' advice or you always disobey what they said? So, it's important to listen to your parents' advice because they tell you everything for your own good. They'll lead you to a better way, right? So, let's look at the instruction. Write a story based on the picture below. You may use the words given to help you. Write your story in a space provided and write your story between 80 and 100 words. Remember, when you are writing story, what is the most important thing? Yes, storyline. Make sure your storyline is smooth. Okay, the flow is smooth and the storyline is linked, right? So let's get the pictures given. There are four pictures, but anyhow, okay, no matter how many pictures you have, okay, try to write only three paragraphs. If you want to write four paragraphs, it is okay, all right? We don't restrict to three paragraphs, but don't have to write too many paragraphs, right? So let's look at a picture here. Okay, this is the main character, the boy. Give the boy a name. Okay, he's riding a bicycle. Can you see? Yes, he's riding a bicycle. And then the second picture, what happened? Yes, okay, there are some boys who are playing football and the football hit the boy. So the boy fell from his bicycle. Yes, okay, very unfortunate. Okay, the ball hit him and he fell. Okay, next. Okay, the boys who are playing football quickly run to help him and the boy's knee is bleeding. Okay, I can see both. So the boy's knees are bleeding. So at that time, the boy's parents uh, drive past the place and they see their uh, boy. Okay, they see their son. So they quickly okay, get, down, uh, get off the car and uh, go to have a look and they bring their son to a nearby clinic for treatment. So, if you want to write a story, usually we'll use past tense. So, please change everything to past tense, right? So, let's get the words given here. Parents, supermarket, stay, bought, neighborhood. It means the boy's parents went off. Okay, they went to a supermarket to buy things, perhaps. Then they asked the boy to stay at home. Okay, but the boy felt bored, so he went cycling in the neighborhood. Then, okay, when he rode past a field, he saw some boys or some friends were playing football. So he stopped to watch them playing football. Unfortunately, the ball flew toward him and knocked him down. He fell onto the pavement. Yes, okay, this is the roadside, so we call this as the pavement. Okay, so the boys who were playing football quickly rushed to help him up, and unfortunately, his knees were bruised and they were bleeding. So the boy was groaning in pain. Okay, give the main character a name, right? So at that time, or coincidentally, okay, the boy's parent came home. Okay, he saw the incident and they quickly got off the car. So the boy was hurt, so his parents scolded him for disobeying their words. So the boy's parents also thanked okay, the boys who were playing football for their kind help. So this is the storyline. So let's look at paragraph by paragraph. So the first paragraph, you can write, okay, give the boy a name. Ryan is a mischievous boy. Okay, you can write like this. Ryan is a mischievous boy. Okay, one lovely evening, Ryan's parents went to a supermarket to shop for groceries. Okay, maybe they need some groceries to prepare dinner and so on. So they went off and they asked uh, Ryan to stay at home. So before leaving, they re reminded him to stay at home to do his revision as 
the examination was around the corner. So they, they reminded Ryan to stay at home, okay, to do his revision because the examination was around the corner. A while later, okay, Ryan felt bored. So what did he do? He decided to go cycling in the neighborhood. Yes, usually if you are very playful, I'm sure you cannot stay at home and you will think of many, many ways to leave home, to play, to go out, uh, to wander around and so on, right? So let's get the second paragraph. After some time, okay, he saw some boys who were playing football on a field. He stopped and watched them playing or he stopped and watched the football match at the edge of the field. At the edge, it means by the roadside, okay, the edge of the field. Okay, then, out of the blue, okay, what happened? The ball, the football flew towards him and knocked him down. Oh, God. So, he could not avoid, or Ryan could not avoid, so he fell onto the pavement with a loud thud. Okay, it means he fell, poof, onto the ground, onto the pavement. So it should be very painful, right? You know, cemented place. Okay, next, he was groaning in pain. Then, okay, who ran to help him up? Okay, the boys who were playing football quickly ran to help him up. Unfortunately, okay, his knees were bruised and bleeding. Uh, and they were bleeding, okay? So his knees were bruised and they were bleeding. Both knees were bleeding. Okay, next. So at that time, okay, Ryan's parents drove by and saw the incident. Okay, or at that time, Ryan's parents drove by and saw Ryan or and saw him sitting on the pavement. They were curious, right? So coincidentally means at that time, okay? So why shock? Who felt shock? Okay, they right? uh, Ryan's parents or his parents felt shock to see Ryan got hurt. Okay, they scolded him for disobeying their words. Okay, so they they also thank the boys for their kindness. Then they sent Ryan to a nearby clinic for treatment. So okay, this is the story. You don't have to talk so long about uh, they got off the car, they went to have a look, then they realized no straight away. Okay, okay, saw Ryan sitting on the pavement. So they were shocked. Ryan got hurt. They also scolded him for disobeying their words. Okay, they thank the boys who for the help. And then they sent Ryan to a nearby clinic for treatment. So it was an unfortunate day for Ryan. Okay, he learned to take in his parents' advice in the future. He vowed to turn over a new leaf. As the saying goes, a burnt child dreads a fire. So make it easy, right? So if you don't know how to use very difficult words, try to avoid it. Okay, use the words that you can understand, right? So Class, that is the end of Mr. Sorcering for today. If you have any question, please type it in the comment area, the, in the comment space down there, and Mr. Saw will get back to you when Mr. Saw reach your comment. Okay, that's all for today. Bye. If you like my channel after watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. That's all for today. Bye.